All right, gang. I'm going to do a quick video about the third Suburban Pumper I picked up. And uh, tell you what I got going on. I've done videos on these two. This one is part of the Suburban Fire Department video. It came with a Ford Econline van in red with fire department logos on it and a Ford Bronco Fire Chief. Now, it was interesting how I got this one. And this is how I got it. I haven't taken anything uh, from any other vehicle and added to it. This is original. Uh, and in the video, this is the best looking video of all three vehicles. Uh, don't want to go into too much detail, but the family I bought this from had three sons and they uh, They were getting rid of a bunch of stuff the parents were so he kept the father kept the best of all of them and Sold me the leftovers which I got them for still and I'm puzzled. I'm puzzled. <laughs> I'm pleased that I have it uh, But this is a sur uh, suburban fire department uh, Suburban pumper. It's missing the ladders and the extinguishers Now here's the kicker I've got extinguishers for it. I bought them, um, and I got them from that company, Toy Decals, on, on eBay. I don't, I don't know if they have any other websites, but they are great at supplying things. Um, so, I'm hopefully I'll find them. If not, I'll have to order another set. We'll see how that goes. Now, this one is 100% complete. It's got everything on it. Now, I've never hooked either one of them up to the water hose because, uh, you know, they're old and on. I really don't want to take a chance of breaking something but because the nozzles are plastic. And the reason why they're always missing the ladders and fire extinguishers is the fire extinguishers twist off. But, but fortunately, I had this set had them. Uh, and it's got both ladders, which are very tricky to get on and off because you're supposed to, like, push them and then lift out but they're, they're plastic they're cheap plastic um and it, it, these did not come with this truck i had to buy them from someone else so let me show you the one i picked up there you are now this side doesn't look too bad uh now i have to be 100 percent honest with you i've already started working on this one um this part i added is it was missing it's the nozzle the hose is not hooked up because so i'll have to take the body off there's the hose and then the the water hose connector was missing as well as were the fire extinguishers and the ladders and uh the running board's a little bent up too it was worse than this but i got it straightened out uh i remember having one of these this one's hard as a rock uh so basically what i did is i went to my spare parts for pressed steel toys and found it and soaked it over a day in baby oil and uh that way i could slip it up onto the nipple because uh, this is the female side the male side's actually in uh, connected to the metal ca uh, box here and then I'll have, like i said i had to take it apart to hook the nozzle back up but here's uh here's the dilemma this side is not that bad roof is pretty bad and, and the siren light or whatever that's called is missing so we're going to order that and ordered a set of fire extinguishers actually ordered two sets in case i couldn't find the set i already bought for that one all right so here's the front end and it does have ford in white across front the fords on the other two are not in white the white paint is gone but look at this it's kind of sad so I had a lot of thought on what I was going to do with these things. Well, well, with this one. I had actually thought about taking it apart, sandblasting it and painting it like a that nylon ladder truck. I have a video of it. I bought my son. It's that yellow green color. Maybe painting it that color. And I just having a different variation. I mean, it's in good shape. It rolls well. Uh, it's it's got you know just the paint now i was hoping when i saw it i saw it sitting like this i saw this side and I, you know and like i said i had to put this on and i'm not taking it back off keep in mind anytime you see any old vintage press steel toys grab them for parts because you never know when you're going to need them um because 
there's going to be some time somewhere you're going to come up across something that's in this shape missing some parts and where you can buy the missing parts online for a fortune or pick something up like this for five bucks which i, I paid a little more than five for that um but they didn't pay much for it about fifteen dollars you know and the guy wanted more but i told him i said dude, dude it's like the receiver's missing for the water hose the can is missing the hose reels are missing uh I know I got another nine amp pumper truck that's got the hose re reels on it in another box. I uh, hope they'll fit. Uh, we'll see soon. Uh, and as I knew I had the nozzle on the other end, I just need ladders. And I got a ladder somewhere. Just got to find it. But anyway, saw it like this. And I try to be fair with prices and all that because this is not an uncommon one to find. Because face it, most kids, uh, when they were growing up, they were crazy about fire trucks. And uh, boys and girls, I mean, it's just not a boy thing. Um, but this truck, I think, sold. Now, don't hold me to it, but I, I remember looking at the prices. Prices, and it's called wishbook.com, I think, is what, what the website is. Uh, where they're uh, cataloging all the Christmas catalogs, uh, but most of these dialings, and of course you got to remember this was the '60s, you know, three bucks to nine bucks. Uh, that was a lot of money back then too. Uh, but with the quality, I mean, you can't beat the quality. I mean, it's still here, a little rough looking. But anyway, look up look up Wishbook.com and TNT Toys, I believe is what it is. Um, they have uh, all the information on a bunch of toy lines. I don't think they have anything on Tonka. I think they have like the oddball stuff like Nylant, Smith, Smitty built or Smith built or something like that. Anyway, they got a lot of interesting stuff. But getting back to this, so the guy had it and he wanted about $25 for it and I was interested in it. And I told him, I said, I can't give you $25 for it. And he's, what can you give me? And I said, well, I don't want to insult you, but you know, I'd offer you $10 because it's missing all the hard to get parts. And then, like, again, I told him that this this version here is everywhere. And then I showed him. Yeah, he said, you know, he threw the eBay. He like, look, yes, yeah, they, they sell this like, this condition on eBay for like thirty, forty dollars. I said, no, they post it. And I told him go look at the completed sales. You give them for like twenty bucks, but they'll have like the the nozzle, you know, or the and the hose connector. So, and so fortunately, like I said, I had that got some extra hubcaps somewhere i mentioned that in a couple of videos i think the u-haul pickup video i've got a bag of hubcaps somewhere oh yeah ignore the finger i kind of cut that <laughs> with a knife a little while ago luckily it didn't gouge uh, so anyway i got it i got it for 15 dollars because he dropped it 20 and i said look 15 i don't need it so i told him i had two but i didn't have pictures of them you know but there it is so not exactly sure ex what I'm gonna do with it. The decal on how to do the hose connection and all that is still on it, and uh, it's, the chassis has been bent, which is not an uncommon thing. Um, usually, uh, when I find a lot of nylons that have a lot of play wear, uh, one of the white ambulances, you'll see the axles is grooved and. The holes with axles, oh, I'm sorry, I'm looking over the camera. The axles will be really, really grooved to where the kids were pushing down on them. And uh, the holes with axles slide through would be wallered out. I think that's the word, wallered. <laughs> All right, so here's the deal. Got my hose. I'm fishing back in there. I don't know if I'm going to take it apart, connect it or not. I want to because I really want to try it out. Uh, and if I tried it on either one of them, it'd be this one because the other two are in awesome sh shape. The one thing that's better on this one is that the letters are painted. And I tried to repaint letters on the uh, 9 inch U Haul kind of line. And my paint pen, I didn't realize how old it was, I got the F pretty good. And all of a sudden, a big old glob of paint came out of the pen. And then, oh my goodness, I had to walk the whole front, wiped off my finger and had a white finger. I'm rambling. Anyway. So here we go. What do you think? Leave it alone. I, I really like this, this side, but the other side is in really decent shape. Or well, should I take it apart, try to connect that and see if it works? I may do that. I don't know. 
I'll, I'll see where the road goes. But that's the uh, the next one. Oh yeah, hold on a second. All right, I'm back. So when I was digging, looking for parts, I forgot I had this thing. I bought it years ago. It's in really good shape. And I really wasn't sure what it was, but I just threw it in the scrap box. And uh, I think I figured out what this was. Nylant has a big Ford COE cab tow truck. This is the dolly for the tow truck. That's pretty cool. And it's like, it looks like it was never played with. Maybe the kid that got the truck didn't know anything about it and didn't care for it. And it just got kicked around and separated. I don't know. It's too big. It, it doesn't fit on the tow trucks. The, the Econon tow truck, I can tell you that right now. It's nowhere to put it. But it is a pretty cool piece. Anyway, rambling again. I wish the whole truck looked like that. But I, like I said, I got stuff on order. The ladders are going to be a problem because they're really crappy. And I don't think anybody remanufactures them yet. Uh, and I hope they will soon. I may, I may just buy some long plastic white ones for like nine inch or Tonkas and just cut them down and put them in. Not even paint them, just put them in that way they'll, the sides will be filled up with ladders. All right, gang, I'm rambling on this, so let me end it right here. Appreciate you checking it out. Uh, I may show you what I do with it uh, when I get all the pieces put back on it, but I don't know what I'm going to do about the paint. I don't like ripping them apart and painting them, but it's Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's do a comic book. Two Face. <laughs> Evil. Good. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Y'all have a good one. I'm fixing the. I'll load this up and I'm going to out tonight. I will see everybody on the next videos.